Hello everyone, welcome to Anthropology Analytica. I'm Dr. Arjun Bopanna, your Anthropology faculty at Insights IAS. So in the previous video, at the end, I gave this particular question that is examine the role of anthropology in rural development or in understanding Indian villages. Whatever is the question, the content remains the same, but how you are going to explain is going to be slightly different. So let's have a look at what you are expected to write in this particular answer. So the question is very simple, role of anthropology and how anthropology can help in rural development. So here the structure of your answer should be as follows. So the introduction to this particular question, see it's a 15 marker, so you're expected to write about two to three uh, sentences of introduction to this particular question and then followed by the body. So body can be about one and a half page and then you can uh, also add uh, a conclusion. Okay, usually in our 15 and 20 marker we expect uh, one or two sentence of conclusion. So in our introduction which you will have to write for about two to three uh, sentence. So you write about the unique feature of anthropology in relation to rural development. Why anthropology is unique as a discipline and it is better placed than any other subject to understand the rural um, uh, society or rural India, etc. So by understanding the rural society or the rural India, it will help us in rural development. So that can be your introduction, the unique feature of anthropology and how that unique feature is going to be useful. See for example, holistic approach, unlike other discipline. I mean, you don't have to explain holistic, but I'm just trying to give you the context. So you just mentioned that anthropology uh, is very useful in rural development because it is a holistic subject. It has got various methods of data collection. It conducts field study where people go, we go and interact with the uh, people, local people, the rural uh, individuals, and we will be able to get first hand information, etc, etc. Right. So that's how you will write. But obviously to explain to you guys over here, let me tell you holistic because unlike other subject, anthropology is very unique because we study every aspect of our uh, aspect of uh, rural India. Then we also uh, have various methods using which we collect data. So accuracy of data collection increases because of this. We also undertake uh, both from a comparative as well as historical perspective studies, which will help bring out both the similarities as well as the differences. It also uh, involves field work and ethnography where we get first hand information. So all this makes it very unique uh, for uh, anthropology as a subject uh, to help us understand rural India. Now, having given that introduction for about two to three sentence, we will go into the role played by anthropology in rural development. So when we say development, improving people's way of life is development in a very simple word. How anthropology can help us do this? So uh, you can list out the um, you know um, uh, roles and how it is going to help and give some examples. So it helps us in better planning of uh, rural development program, for example, right? So anthropologists can be involved in planning infrastructural projects so as to have better stakeholder mentality among the rural people. It can help us bring out the actual problems, socio-economic problems, because uh, unlike uh, when we just go and visit a rural uh, village, we might not know the actual problem. The factors leading to those problems may be very different. The cause of those problems may be very different. So anthropology will be able to help us understand the cause of various problems, social evils and other things. So by doing such studies, uh, anthropologists can actually sol uh, solve those problems and uh, thereby making um, uh, the rural um, environment much better. Similarly, concepts like dominant caste, Sanskritization, etc. helps us to understand the caste dynamics of rural India, which is very essential to bring about rural development plans. So like that you can write so many uh, reasons why anthropology is very useful for rural development. And you should also mention some examples like how planning commissions have involved uh, anthropologists in rural development, how various aid agencies, NGOs, voluntary organizations uh, regularly involve anthropologists in 
planning rural development program whether it is ford foundation or whether it is red cross and other organization etc in planning uh, you know, even who for planning health related schemes etc so all these examples has to be thrown in uh, to your answer uh, to make it much more comprehensive it's a very simple uh, question and a very simple answer there has to be a flow one after the other with examples and you will be able to get very good marks maybe you can also put a flow chart uh, to explain how anthropology uh, can help in rural development so why is it uniquely placed you can write as a flow chart okay in one corner of your answer and then you can mention figure okay indicating the role of uh, anthropology in rural development so this way uh, you can uh, establish or you can create something very uh, attractive for the examiner so this is how you are supposed to write the answer for this particular question i hope it was uh, useful and uh, in the next video we are going to discuss uh, the uh, following question which is there in your description uh, thank you and keep watching this these videos